Welcome to Senior Day here in Memorial Stadium in Champaign, Illinois. It's snowing as the 9 and 2 Illinois fight in the line. I are going to be taking on the 1 in 10 New Mexico State Lobos. Yeah, Illinois should definitely, de definitely win. Uh, this is a somewhat important game for Illinois as they have two five star prospects coming with the number three ranked prospect Doug White and the 11th ranked prospect Kyle Davis. So, Illinois sort of needs to impress, but, you know, it should not be too hard as some of the seniors for Illinois, back of quarterback Chase Krause, running back Kendrick Foster, running back Will Taylor, fullback Anthony Riley, wide receiver Derek Hall, wide receiver Dan Cook, third string tight end Shannon Hall, multiple offensive linemen like Pete Williams, uh, defensive end Nick Rodriguez, outside linebacker Trey Watson, middle linebacker Delshawn Phillips, middle linebacker Adam Butler, or no, 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 middle linebacker Adam Wade, Cornerback Adam Butler, cornerback Joshi Madrin Bang Bang Brooks, and of course the crappiest kicker in college football, Akeem Manson. As Illinois, not only do they have recruiting important, but they have a, they have a shot to get in the Big Ten Championship against probably Ohio State, which is they've been the most dominant team in college football, no question. But Illinois needs to win, which is sort of a given. Actually, they don't need to win, honestly, because it's not a Big Ten game. But Nebraska needs to lose to Iowa. They only have one conference loss, which is to Illinois. And uh, Iowa needs to beat them. Illinois destroyed Iowa earlier in the season. As New Mexico State will choose heads. And it lands on heads. And New Mexico State will choose to send the defense out first. This is the final time that multiple New Mexico State players step on the field for the, their careers, pretty much. Their professional careers. And this is the last time for many Illinois seniors, including Kendrick Foster... That they step on this home field as Kendrick Foster starting senior day off with a bang and a 66 yard touchdown. The senior is the first one to score for Illinois. The very first play from scrimmage. Too. Snowy conditions aren't great as a key Manson, the crappiest kicker ever, missed the extra point. And Ole Miss loses to Mississippi State 44 41. Ole Miss 9 3. That ranking should certainly go down. And Mississippi State in their final game of the season. Winning a good one against their rival. Second and three, four, New Mexico State. They have probably the worst statistical offense in college football. And Illinois is one of the best defenses. That's right there. James Riley gets a feel of what he's going to feel a lot today. That was Trey Watson there with the stop. And numerous other players were there too. This Illinois offense had a quick start. One play. And they got a touchdown. As Fisher... He's going to look down the field for a wide open Jackson Kelly. And this Illinois offense is going to have a field day today. Illinois starting all their normal starters today, which is interesting. But as the game goes along, especially in the second half, pretty much every starter will be out of the game. As Fisher looking for Jackson Kelly. And Illinois will get another quick touchdown. I predicted the score would be 52 to 3. Honestly, I'm feeling like 152 to nothing. Maybe negative three for them to be honest. It is first and ten for New Mexico State. They had a quick drive last one. As Christian's gonna pass it. Christian has time, plenty of time. He's under a little bit of pressure, and Nick Rodriguez is there with the set. It is third and eight for New Mexico State. As running back, I forget his last name in the backfield. Christian looking to pass it, and he will find Terry Brown for an 18 yard gain. Not great coverage by the senior. Darcy and Brooks. New Mexico State is one for two today on third down. Let's see if they can make it two for three here on third and 15. As Christian's going to look to pass it. Christian has time. He finds a wide open hall. Bad coverage by the other senior cornerback, Adam Butler. I don't know where Melvin Washington is. It is first and 10 for the Aggies. It's their offense. It's, I mean, the Aggies, I, I don't know. But their offense is starting to get rolling. As Riley there with another first down inside the 10-yard line. It is third and goal for New Mexico State at about the 7-yard line. As it'll be a pass. Christian has time. Christian looking. He's going to be intercepted by the sophomore Melvin Washington. And Melvin Washington, he gets it past the 50, the 40. Nice block. The 20, 10, 5. In the end zone, Fort Illinois touchdown, 99 yards from the sophomore Melvin Washington. As New Mexico State was about to score, but Melvin Washington saying, ah, ah, ah. Is that also the longest interception return in NCAA history? I doubt it. 
but Melvin Washington will take Illinois it. Illinois has had three offensive plays so far. Illinois has three touchdowns. It's sort of crazy. One of them was a defensive touchdown, but the only non-play that was the only play that was not an offensive touchdown was like a 27-yard gain. So it's still a good play as Christian just gets sacked by the air. Mexico State has had 18 offensive plays today, and Illinois has had three. As the quarterback Sterling Christian got hurt on second down. As the new quarterback Holloway, under a lot of pressure, the cavalry's coming for him. <coughs> Could not speak. He did not want to get sacked, but he did by someone. It is second and ten for Illinois. The New Mexico State quarterback is completely fine. He'll return to the game. As Fisher will hand it off for Kendrick Foster. Foster again with a nice run, trucking a defender. He won't be tackled until he gets into the red zone. Big run from Kendrick Foster. He almost has 100 yards already. His third and goal at the three is Illinois hoping to have 27 points for the end of the first quarter. As Fisher scrambling, and that's how he's going to get his touchdown. He will run in with it, and Illinois gets their fourth touchdown of the quarter. We have another studio update here. As Michigan and Ohio State, the classic game. Michigan hoping to clinch a bowl in Ohio State. Hoping to clinch the undefeated regular season. Ohio State, they're the most dominant team in college football. But so far, Michigan has the lead. Will Ohio State be upset? New Mexico State at this point is pretty much just playing for pride. But 28-3 leads have been choked before. It's on 3rd and 7. Christian looking to pass it. He finds... Riley, who only gained six, is the senior Delshawn Phillips with a nice tackle, forcing New Mexico State to punt. As the second quarter starts, I would say a little less than half of the starters have been replaced. Eric Fisher has not been replaced yet. Kendrick Foster, one of the starters who was, will tell her another senior in. As Fisher will find Daniel Barnes, the freshman, playing at that number two receiver spot where Dan Cook usually is. But Daniel Barnes with a nice catch On there. On 4th and 5, Illinois is going for it instead of taking like a 44-yard field goal. I don't think a key man has ever made a 44-yard field goal in his life. So that's probably Illinois' thinking. As Fisher is scrambling with it, and he will get the first down with his leg. It is 3rd and 1 for Illinois at about the 2 or 3-yard line. As Fisher is going to look to pass. Fisher scrambling, looking for Jackson Kelly. Ed Kelly catches his second touchdown in the game. And that Illinois lead just keeps on getting higher and higher and higher. Nice studio update here as Iowa, Nebraska, the game we need to know the score of. Iowa currently leads it 17 to 14. So hopefully we get more updates on this game. New Mexico State's offense got off the field as fast as they got on it. As it's first and ten at about midfieldish for Illinois. Fisher. They can off. Fisher looking for Jackson Kelly. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, tackled at about the 6-yard line as Jackson Kelly has had a very usual game, which is a very good game because he's a very good player. It is first and go after the big play to Kelly as Fisher, looking for an open Kyle Bush, who has been very solid after he had brick hands at the beginning of the season, and Illinois has now broken the 40 marker. Illinois only had 47 points in their first game against UTEP. I mean, I shouldn't really say only, but they have 40 points in the first half. Manson missed his second extra point of the game, but it's still 40 to nothing. As the quarterback Christian Bielow in the backfield on first and 10. Four minutes left in the first half, your score, Illinois winning 40 to nothing. As that one will be intercepted by the backup safety, Noah Goodwin. That was a great catch by Goodwin, and Illinois gets the ball back. Again, I give this New Mexico State team so much respect that they're still playing in this game. As Kyle Bush in motion, Fisher fake handoff for Will Taylor. Fisher sees Jackson. Kelly, Kelly comes down with it. That is his third touchdown of the game. His 13th receiving touchdown of the season. I guess he broke the receiving touchdowns in the season record, which, you want to know who owned that record previously? Jackson Kelly. Kelly breaking his own record is pretty cute as Michigan and Ohio State. Michigan still has the lead over Ohio State 14 to 10 in the second quarter. Can Michigan get the upset? Hopefully because Ohio State is pretty darn New good. New Mexico State's offense really deserves some points but uh, this Illinois defense doesn't like allowing points as Christian has time. He finds good 
and Isaiah Gunn gets to the 30-yard line. Mexico State 0 for 1 in the red zone was the Melvin Washington interception in the first quarter. As Christian looking to pass, Christian has time looking for Hall, and Carlos Hall will score. New Mexico State is finally on the board. It is first and 10 of a 22 as Illinois are going to break the 50 point marker before the end of the first half, which is pretty much unheard of. As Fisher scrambling, sees an open receiver. It's Matt Richard who gets tackled in the end zone. 350 plus yards. And another touchdown. There's still about two minutes left in the first half. Mexico State has all three timeouts. Illinois has two. It's Christian looking to pass it. He finds an open gun who gains 17. Sterling Christian has almost as many passing yards today as Eric Fisher does. And the score certainly su doesn't suggest that. It's Christian under pressure. And it's Trey Watson with the sack. It is fourth and inches. New Mexico State is going for Illinois. I'll call it a timeout. Don't really know why. As it'll be an option, it'll be a toss for Riley, who breaks a tackle. Riley first down inside the 10. And the offense is starting to play well. I mean, it's a little too late. They're down by 40 points now. As Sterling Christian gets another touchdown. I think he had a passing touchdown earlier, and now he gets a rushing one, but they're still down by 40. Studio update here as Ohio State has taken the lead over the Wolverine. This Illinois offense has been the definition of dominant. They might break the, break the 60 marker too here in the first half. As Fisher on the run looking for Hall. Hall gets by a defender as a first down. Hall gets shoved out of bounds past the 25. 10 seconds left in the first half as on second and goal Fisher's gonna look to pass it. Fisher Scrambling, looking, he's going to run in the end zone, his second rushing touchdown, his seventh all-purpose touchdown here in this first half, and Illinois has over 60. Illinois is pretty much just backups in this at this point. As New Mexico State driving down the field, well, they have it at the one-yard line. As on first and goal, Christian under pressure, looking for the end zone, and Isaiah Gunn. Gets the touchdown. Here comes out the Illinois offense with quarterback David Barrett. As Fisher will probably get a little bit of playing time in the second half just to break a couple records. As Barrett on first down, scrambling. He's an open receiver. That's Daniel Bards, freshman to freshman. Eric Fisher is in the game. So I don't know why Kendrick Foster is, but Eric Fisher is in because Illinois wants him to break a record or two today. As Fisher looking for Kyle Bush. And that's another touchdown. That's his sixth of the game. I thought the school record was eight, but I guess it's not. Give another studio update and Iowa Nebraska update, which is what we sort of need. As Iowa still in the lead over Nebraska, but it's very close. Unlike this game. New Mexico State offense has played really well the past couple drives. Let's see if they can continue what they're doing. As Christian looking to pass. Christian. Under pressure, he will be intercepted by, I think, Matt Fox, the third Illinois pick of the game. And Fox will be tackled somewhere on the field. I don't know where. Well, there goes the New Mexico State offensive momentum as Illinois quickly back on the field. Barrett will hand it to next year's potential starter, Maurice Rivero. Rivero gets by numerous New Mexico State defenders, gaining 26. Since Illinois is in the red zone, Eric Fisher is in the game. Otherwise, David Barrett will be in, so it's not like he's in the whole game. Matt Richard in motion. Fisher under pressure. Fisher sees an open receiver, and it's Daniel Bards. Fisher's seventh passing touchdown of the game. New Mexico State's drive, last drive, was two plays and an interception. It was on first and ten. Christian will pass it. Christian under pressure. He's intercepted again. This time it's Charles Cook. I don't know why Charles Cook was on the field because he's usually a starter. That's interception number four. New Mexico State player got hurt. He's okay. But Illinois keeps on rolling. Eric Fisher is in, in the game for some reason. As Fisher. He's going to look down the field for Kendrick Foster. He's wide open. And that's not even Kendrick Foster. I'm used, used to running back being Kendrick Foster. But it's Maurice Rivero and Eric Fisher's eighth passing touchdown. The fans here have definitely had a blast. I can already assume that. As Christian looking to pass it, he's under pressure. It'll be a screen pass. 
That's a first down for Riley. And Riley won't be tackled by Darshim. He'll run out of bounds after gaining four. One more quarter left of this. I don't even know if you call it a game. I think you just call it a beating. Illinois leads 82-24 to as Maurice Rivero gets the ball, breaks a tackle. Rivero, first down. There goes Mo Rivero in the red zone. The most passing touchdowns in a game by one quarterback is 11. Eric Fisher right now is at 8. But this one to Jackson Kelly will make it 9 as that is Illinois' 13th, I think. Touchdown of the game. We have another studio update. Is in the game that matters. Nebraska has taken the lead and is only up by three. So let's see if the Hawkeyes can come back for Illinois. I am very curious how many records this team has broke today. And there will be more broken. I can guarantee that. As Christian looking to pass it, looking for Harris. Harris has a nice first down, gaining 22. I haven't even mentioned this, but Jackson Kelly broke the receiving touchdowns in a game by an Illinois player. He is four today. The record was three. But I think Illinois has broken at least seven records today. As Kyle Bush with the catch and Kyle Bush tackled out of bounds like the two. Yeah. Second and goal for Illinois. About four minutes left in the game. As Fisher, nine touchdowns on the game. And that'll make it ten as Kyle Bush catches, I think, his third touchdown of the game. He's played very well today. That is touchdown number ten for Fisher. How could this game be any more hilarious, you might ask? Probably weren't thinking that, but... Uh, New Mexico State has exactly 420 yards. 420 blaze it. As Barrett looking and will find Daniel Barnes. And Daniel Barnes gets pushed down. Eric Fisher currently has 10 passing touchdowns on the game. And that will be number 11. And Illinois has broken the 100 point barrier. Wow. I think every Illinois fan is fantasizing. Studio update, hopefully it's Iowa and Nebraska, and it is. And Iowa has defeated number five, Nebraska. Illinois will, I think Illinois should be able to make the Big Ten championship since they beat Nebraska head-to-head. -head. So hopefully the game realizes that and this game is over. What a game it has been. Illinois, your winners, final score, 103 to 24. Lots of records broken. If you're new to the channel, don't worry. These scores are not very common. It looks like Kyle Davis and Doug White were both so impressed with how Illinois played during the, their visit that they're both committing already. I'm not too surprised about Doug White, but Kyle Davis is a little bit of a surprise. Anthony Norwood also commits, and so does the 54 overall fullback. 